we're going to dive straight into this. We're going to do VStack is one of the new 14 functions that came out a few weeks ago in Excel and somebody emailed me a question and I started immediately thinking VStack. Now, initially I did think Power Query and I could kind of see a strategy in Power Query, but then when I started to work with it, I saw I'm gonna need a whole lot of queries. I'm gonna have to pull data apart, put it back together, and it would work. But then, yeah, VStack. I start thinking, if I can get the pieces to this solution and then do a VStack at the end, beautiful. So, look all the way toward the end and then start backing up. This person sent me round one, round two, round three as examples, but the easy one to start with is round two. We have all of these teams from A to Q, and the goal is to get the top 10. Okay, we've got teams F through I. F scored 31 points, I 22, all of those in between. Great, the top 10. But now it gets odd when we have to deal with ties. In round one, there are nine teams from F down to H, and then the statement saying four teams with 21, and one more layer to this. In round three, there are six teams showing, and then the statement five teams with 25. That's the goal here. And another thing, if it's not clear, there are only 10 rows. We can't have an 11th row or whatever, but we can have it shorter. Let me show you what I built, and then I'm gonna show you how I built it. Here we go. We've got all of these teams. The antelopes are at the top. Neon rascals are in the 10th position, as you can see by that arrow, at 36. Now, let's do this, and I'm gonna show you that this doesn't have to be in order the way that I've made it. Let's say that we've got 36 for the bears. Now that statement flipped. Now it says two teams tied at 36. Two teams tied at 10th, right? Two teams tied at 10th, like Tommy Tatumus took two T's and tied them atop two tall trees. Yeah, can you say that? And how about Betty Botter bought some bitter butter, said if I put it in my batter, it'll make my batter bitter. So Betty Botter bought some better butter, put it in a batter, and it made her batter better. Okay, let's get back to Excel. Let's make another team at 37. Put that there. Okay, look at that. We've got the top four and then six teams tied at 37. Let's sort this data and then sort descending. And there we go. The tarpon are at 10th place with 37. And yes, we do have six teams tied at 37. Are we ready to go into how this was built? I'm gonna delete this and show you how it's done. Take a deep breath. Let's do it. First, we need the score that's in 10th place. Right here, 10th largest equals large, open parentheses, go over here. What is the 10th largest score? Right there, comma, and then 10, enter, 31. Now I'm gonna put a header here, count ties, okay, that's later. Make these bold. Now I wanna get the titles, the column headers, in anticipation of doing the V-stack to wrap this up. Equals the team and the score. Okay, you can see the blue line that is a dynamic array. Now let's slide over. Now let's get all teams that are tied at that 10th score. Equals 
filter. Open parentheses. Filter what? We're going to filter this whole column or this whole table. Okay. Comma. What's the filter criteria where the score column is equal to that tenth number? Got it. So there are two teams tied for tenth the Rustic Vision and the Wizards. We want to count the ties equals count A, open parentheses, go over here, and we need the hashtag to count the whole array. Hashtag, enter. And then this needs to be divided by two because there are two columns. Divide by two, enter. Now I need to grab the teams that have scores that are greater than that tenth score. Greater than, not greater than or equal to. We'll go here to K11. All right. Equals. Filter. Open parentheses. Filter what? Filter this table. Comma. For what criteria? where this column, the scores are greater than the value here. Enter. Now we need to get that statement. Equals. Grab this two. Okay. And double quote. Space. Teams. Tied. At. Colon double quote there's the statement then we need it's 31 equals right here good now we've got all of the pieces now let's stack this up I'm gonna go here above because I want to get the headers over in L and M equals if open parentheses okay because we gotta account for if there are no ties and we can grab all 10 versus if there are ties. If this number is equal to one, then V stack, double click there, open parentheses. We need the headers right there, L1, Hashtag, comma, now we can filter, filter, open parentheses, filter what? Filter this array, that table actually, comma, to include the score is greater than or equal to the value here. Close the filter, close the VStack, comma, if false, VStack. We got to open parentheses. We want to stack those headers, comma. What's next that we want to stack? We want to stack the data here, okay? And we need the hashtag to get that whole array, comma. Now we want this right here. Close the V stack, close the if statement, enter. Ah, got it. Got it, got it. Now, let's change some stuff. Let's say that the antelopes were 40, okay? And then the winter were um, 39, okay? Two teams tied at 36. Let's add the new raisins also had 36. And let's say the vipers were also 36. The tarpon were 36. The Monarchs were also 36. Let's sort this so you can see. Look at this. Six teams in the top six positions, six unique teams, and six teams tied at the 10th score. And that, my friends, is how B-Stack can help us out. And it was so much easier than Power Query. See you next time.